We are here today uh, with Wayne Strahan of the Fort Francis Acres of the Superior International Junior Hockey League for the Junior Hockey Network Hockey Show. How are you today, Wayne? I'm good, Jay. Thanks. How are you? Good, good. Uh, like I say, you played two games in the uh, two games uh, on the 23rd and one on the 27th, and I know you weren't there last night. But can can you talk about uh, the 23rd and uh, what Coach Nick told you about the 27th? On um, the 23rd, I thought we uh, played a, a hungry hockey game, and um, obviously we're we're aware that um, English River is going to be our first round opponent, and and we're we're trying to prepare for that and and how we need to play against them. And I thought we did a good job of uh, again pressuring pucks and and causing turnovers and and getting pucks to the net and and taking advantage of our uh, opportunities. Um, and for for some reason. Uh, um, you know, it just it's just like we're clicking uh, the last few games uh, at home, and and it's good to see. And um, we've we've tightened up defensively a lot, and guys are play, paying the price, and and um, you know, sacrificing themselves to help our goalies out and, and defend our net. So um, it's good to see. Um, We've gotten good goaltending over the last couple of weeks, and, and especially uh, uh, last Friday. And and um, from what I did watch on the game last night, uh, um, again last night, um, you know, and you know, to talk to the assistant coaches and and um, watch a little bit of the game, and you know, a, a game where. It was kind of an ugly road game. Uh, you, if you look back to oh, about a month ago or a month and a half ago, um, when we beat them in their own rink, it was to me it was kind of a, a similar game to that, where you know we had a, a fairly decent first period, um, probably created the better scoring opportunities, even though we were outshot. Um, but we did a good job, uh, you know, through the first two periods of, of keeping them to the outside and in the perimeter and, and, um, you know, if they did break us down and, and get a, a good scoring opportunity or great A opportunity, um, you know, we had good sticks defensively and, and again, um, you know, uh, Izzy Ralston was, was strong in the net, um, but to I guess to to watch a little bit of the third and and at times defensively it was it was like um, you know we we're looking around for someone else to do our job and and giving them opportunities to to walk to the net or or. Um, um, just sees sees a good opportunity to get the puck to the net, and you know it's unfortunate we're on the power play. Uh, um, turnover hurts us, and and uh, they cash in on a breakaway, and um, then like I said, we we give their guy an opportunity to walk right to the net to get the second goal, and and it's tough to come back against that team. Uh, they defend well. They you. Know, and we just uh we didn't get enough pucks to the net, uh, enough bodies to the net and in the end if you look at it we we didn't really pay the price or like we have uh maybe through the games that we've had success the last couple of weeks and in, in uh blocking shots or or paying the price in that manner. So you know, when we've passed it we'll prepare for uh Saturday now at home here and and keep plugging away here. And like I say, in the last two games, you're only a one for six on the power play. Does that need to change heading into the final six games of the season? For sure. Um, you know, at this part of the season down the stretch here and, and everything's, you know, preparing for the playoffs. Um, 
the the power play is going to be key, and, and maybe the factor in if you succeed in the the playoffs or not. And, and you know, at this point, um, you need your your power play to be intense and in, in moving the puck and and working as a unit of five. And um, you know, not th- not that we didn't have it on uh, last Friday's game, but last night we just looked at a sink um, and not just on the power play, but it, it was like maybe some of the guys had their own agenda last night and even to watch our uh, PK, uh, it just, we weren't doing our systems and, and when we don't do our systems, we we leave ourselves uh, vulnerable to uh, lose hockey games. Um, when we play our systems, we're, we're a good hockey team and um, the power play is definitely one of the areas where we we need to be more consistent and have more intensity at. And like you say, I guess this is a little defensive of, of the players and not saying they use this against the, with the coaching staff, but like you say, in the last 14 games of the season, you in the last eight, you've played in 17 days. Can that, can that put a little bit of uh, effect on the players? For sure. Um, and we're aware of that and, and – you know, through those games, uh, at times we had uh, 14 skaters, 15 skaters due to injuries and whatnot, and and you know we through the last part of this couple weeks here, we we our games are spread out a little bit. We are going to play uh, Saturday, and then we play two the the following week, and then we're going to play three and four nights heading into the playoffs where um, we're probably going to start on the, uh, I believe it's Wednesday the 21st. Um, but, yeah, we've put a lot on these guys. They've responded well for the most part in uh, a short amount of time, and um, that could be a factor that's affecting us. Um, I hope not. I hope we can get past it, but... Um, it's definitely probably in the back of everyone's mind. And, and uh, like you say, in the, in the last ten, you're, you're four and six, and with fifteen wins this season, almost almost one third of them have come in come in the last ten games. So, like you say, with that short bench, they have, uh, I guess, two points starting to prove themselves a little late in the season, but starting to prove to themselves that they can do it, right? Um. Yeah. I guess we're we're hoping that. Um, you know, maybe excluding last night, uh, I thought I thought our team has played uh, played well, played more as a team, played for one another. Uh, you know, we had a talk about two weeks ago, um, just about doing it for one another, caring for one another, being uh, uh, everything your your thought process in hockey games is. Um, for your brother to help your brother to to be a family and and to do it together and um, not sell ourselves short and um, you know have the mentality that every time we step on the ice we believe in ourselves and and we're going to give it our all to to have success and it's uh, definitely gotten better and and um, again like I said at this time of the year. Uh, it's a game of inches. Uh, the more inches you can take, the better. The less you give, uh, obviously helps your cause. And and if you have that kind of mentality in your mind, you need everybody on the same page and and working as uh, one group. And and you know it's it's definitely an improvement uh, um, for our team throughout the season. And and hopefully we can continue that. That was <clears throat> excuse me. With six games left in the season, with five of them at home, does that benefit you guys at all? Uh, you know, in a, <laughs> a normal situation, I would say yes. But um, I think we've this season we've played a lot of our better games on the road. Um, definitely being home uh, gives us proper rest and and whatnot we need before. Uh, heading into the playoffs, so that's a good aspect. Um, I've liked the way we've played the last few games. Uh, we definitely, 
you know, I've proven to people and shown our fans that uh, we're capable of uh, playing some good hockey and and playing some good hockey at home and, and being a little more focused and and prepared to um, play at home. So it's good to see, and uh, obviously uh, we won't have home ice um, through any round of the playoffs, and and with the the first round being a best of five, we're only guaranteed one game, so we're going to have to uh, take advantage of uh, those home games uh, or that home game uh, for sure and to help our cause if we if we want to move on. And like the saying that is like two of your final six are against English River. Um, that will be a big test for going into the first round matchup against the Miners, won't it? Yes, for sure. Um, and I, you know, we've we've seen them twice in the last two weeks, and and uh, maybe even three times in the last three weeks. So, um, or for, actually, sorry, uh, uh, four times in the last uh, three weeks. So, um, you know, in their building. Uh, the first night we played good against them. The second night, uh, I think we were a little tired and in the afternoon game. But uh, the last two games at home, uh, I thought we've played very well. And we need to have that mentality that we've had, uh, uh, obviously, Saturday and, and uh, following Wednesday uh, against them. And, um, you know, the, the last game uh, had a little bit of a playoff uh atmosphere behind it it was uh kind of in your face and, and chippy and and you know they're like i've said in the past they're a, a hard team to to play against they work hard all the time and and they never give up and um and that's the one aspect uh that makes them dangerous and and through these next two games we're, we're definitely going to have to have the intensity and and play our game, play our systems, um, and do all the little things right to, to help us have success leading in up to game one against them. And like you, you had mentioned, like you say, you, it's the best of five series, and right, it's looking like, of course, it's going to be uh, uh, the minors that you're playing. But like you say, the last time you played them, you're coming off a win at home against them. So like you say, having that, that one game at least at home, um, you guys have beaten them in the in the last little bit. So... For the players, it shows that you, they can beat them on the road or at home, right? Yeah, um, and you know it's not going to be easy in their rink. It's a, it's a little smaller than um, ours, but um, we're definitely uh, uh, going to have to at least uh, win one, maybe two hockey games there to to get to the next round. So um, we'll prepare ourselves and and. You know, I guess with uh, having the fact that we have, have I believe, beat them three times at home, uh, um, you know, can give us the confidence that we can we can battle with them and, and uh, compete with them on home ice. And you mentioned, like, the last time you played them was a little bit more like a playoff atmosphere, a little bit more physical, a little bit more bump and grind. When it, when it comes to junior A hockey and, and, like, say, playing in those small rinks, a lot of times it becomes a lot more physical, doesn't it? For sure, um, and you know, uh, I think organizations look at that and, and build their team to have the most success they can in the first and foremost in their own rank, right? And um, you know, come playoff time, it's uh, everyone starts fresh. It doesn't matter uh, where you finished, what, how many wins you had in the regular season. It's um, it's uh, nobody has any wins in game one, and and it's the team that uh, can control their emotions the best. Uh, uh, wants to to win bad enough, and and goes out on the ice and and uh, like I said, does the little things and um, and prepares themselves to to be at their best in a short amount of time. Well, Wayne, like you say, uh, thank you very much for taking the time out today. And like I say, good luck on the 3rd and the 7th against uh, English River. And we'll talk next week. Sounds good, Jay. Thank you. Thank you.